Hi friends, welcome back to Dirty Be Playing Nosia. Feeling pretty good about how this series is progressing as far as my ability to commentate over it. And uh, we're just gonna do the normal thing. I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves and like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to. Ah! This is definitely a milestone. I think I remember this. Or at least I definitely remember this and I feel... And I feel like it is definitely associated with a uh, an important milestone in the game. Like, maybe even the big one I'm thinking about, but I don't I don't think that's... I think there's another one in order to get to that one that I'm thinking of. We'll see. I'm really... I have a feeling this one's really going to progress the things forward. Like, oh boy. So, Durky, you're on loop number 89. I'm starting to get used to things then, huh? About this situation we're in. As for initial settings, there are multiple Nocia infectees. Clear conditions are based on the number of active crew, com crew members in Nosia. And once the clear conditions have been fulfilled, we're forced to loop again. So yeah, the most crucial factor is the Nosia. Hmm. In, in loops in which you're infected, you know what to do. You know you have to eliminate the humans and send them to Nos. However, we still don't understand, though, just what is Nos? Why are humans sought after? Where do those eliminated go? Why are there always infectees on this ship? Ugh, we still know almost nothing for certain. Would you like to know? Hello, Yuriko, you're terrifying. And you only get more terrifying the more we know about you and the more you do in this plot. Yuriko. What are Nosia? What is Nos? Why do Nosia exist here? Why is Nosia such an awesome game? Oh yeah, it's because of story moments like this. Do you really want to know? Yes, if you know, please tell us. <laughs> How honest. In that case, let us play a little game. God, I'm hoip. I will actually, this is really, really, really an interesting moment for me. I forget this, how this went. God damn, Yuriko. You freaking sneaky, clever, very terrifying bitch. <laughs> Destroy me. I have been contaminated by Nos. What? Well, Yuriko, you're infected? Yes. But why would you tell us that? I told you. This is a game. If the two of you are able to destroy me, then I shall give the an give you the answers you seek. Okay. Here. This, this will be fun. But how can she give us answers after being destroyed? Oh wait, she can fucking somehow alter us if we're a bug, so there's that. Like, in a pretty significant way, with our abilities. Durky, let's do it. We have to put Yuriko into cold sleep. Let's do it. You agreed to try your best. Yeah, this is a good opportunity. This has never happened in any of the previous loops. Together, we can do this, Turkey. Okay, let's go. Even even any of Setsu's loops, that is that is a very good sign, I think. Because, well, I know this leads to different things. I don't know about better things, but... Usually, in all these kinds of loopy situations, there's conditions for how to get out of it. And certainly, there's... I've run into conditions for altering the, the process and movement. So... And this is definitely one of the first ones I remember. I feel like we're heading towards endgame-ish territory. And that was where I kind of ended up quitting the last time I played, but we'll see. Okay, let's go. I've really been enjoying record sitting down and recording one of these every day. By the way, we start with the Doom Dread music. Just think about that. I have a feeling it's supposed to set the tone of this. It's hard to concentrate with this being the music. There's normally music for horrible events, so why is it this music? Hmm. By the way, what am I? I'm the doctor. Hmm. Hmm. Is it supposed to be this one or no? I just think, like, throughout the game, right? By the way, is there a guardian angel? No, oh boy. Oh, Shigamichi. Hmm. 
I think this is a specific line to this situation, too, although I'm not sure. Oof. God, I think this might be what needs to happen. Oof. It, I think it's intentionally very difficult, but I think they got me? No, wait, maybe. Oh, fucking. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna restart it. Fuck this. I don't think it's saved. I'm restarting it. I'm literally quitting the game and coming back in. I hope this works. Alright, so good news. When I, uh, just exit the game and then reload, bam. Same thing. So it just auto saved us at the beginning of the loop, which is normally what it does, and that's what I was hoping. So I can keep retrying this as many times as I need until either I win against Yuriko in that first one, or I find that it's impossible, or I win against her in a second one, or I find that it's impossible. Basically, I'll go ahead and I'll skip the figuring out what to do here part for y'all, do it off camera, and when we come back, you know, because you know, you know, you know what the puzzle is. You know what the gameplay is like. It really isn't different gameplay, so and you know how what's what's the scenario looks like and the music that it's used for it. And I think, you know, uh, there's a few unique Yuriko lines there. And if there's new Yuri unique Yuri Yuriko lines, I'll make sure to have have those recorded for y'all too. But ye, uh, otherwise, I'll see you in a second with whatever solution I found or lack thereof that I've realized there is. All right, finally, I got her cold slept after a good few tries. Um, and I couldn't, for the life of me, do it in that first loop. It's brutal, the sheer... It's like they jack up her ability to... It really does feel to me like they jack up her ability, uh, Yuriko's ability to turn doubt back on people for this. But, woof, who did it? Or maybe she was just going more ham about it, because, you know, to give us a challenge or whatever. Or she was very convinced that she was going to win. I don't know, man. Yuriko remains an enigma to me, even though I know things... That have not, like, a lot of, like, pretty revelating things that haven't even been revealed about her yet. Uh, I don't think so. But yeah, this is starting to get to where I was around, like, you know, as far as the story revelations I'd gotten to. But there's definitely one big one that, or like, uh, a couple big ones, I would say, that are intertwined that we haven't, um, gotten to yet here. But we're getting pretty close to where I was, so I'm excited, man to get past that and see what lies beyond. God, I love this game. There's so much to explore here. These characters are so interesting and deep. Okay, Derg. What comes of this? This has got to be an immediate Yuriko event. Like, what else would it be? Pretty sure it's like when you're about to cold sleeper. Because earlier when I was like, how could she possibly post being destroyed tell us anything? She's going to tell us before we get to the cold sleep thing. In fact, I'm almost guarantee you that is what happens from memory. Uh, if it doesn't, then, you know, I got egg on my face, but... I think that's what happens, but we're about to find out, aren't we? Congratulations. We won, now. Keep your promise and tell us. And yeah, it took till day four, because... It helped to whittle people down, and... Yeah. It really did. And, and then I had to do day four, like, three different times, and then the RNG allowed me to do this. These moments make you really realize just how RNG-based the game really is. Because, Jesus. We won. Now, keep your promise and tell us. You're right. Now then, what do you want to know about Nosia? You probably want to know more about Nosia. All right, then first, let me ask you. Nosia eliminate humans. Why do you think this is so? Eliminating humans and sending them to Nos. This will save humanity, at least that's what they believe. Your knowledge is surprising. It is if you have experienced living as Nosia yourself. And they have. Those who have been touched by Nos receive a vision. One powerful enough to alter the very fabric of your brain. <laughs> one can say it is something akin to hearing the voice of God. Yes, the Nosia are martyrs. They receive a divine revelation from Nos, and then sacrifice their own lives to save humanity. So Nos is the, em the enemy of humankind? Tell me, what exactly is Nos? You know, don't you? Yes. We will soon be commencing warp. All crew members, please. Ah, uh, what a shame. It appears as though we are out of time. Huh? No, wait, Yuriko, tell us. I must not go into cold sleep. This was your decision, was it not? Ugh. <laughs> it would be a shame to leave it at this. I will leave you with one final hint. I know what Nos is, but how do I know this? Think about this. About the reason you know? 
You're finished speaking. Go. She knows that we're looping. Now, I know that from later, but it starts to be hinted here, obviously, right? Just as I had thought that we'd finally figure things out, and now here we are. Okay, there's no point in whining now, at least we've taken a step, well, half a step forward. And we also know that Yuriko has more information. Durgi, if you get the chance, try to make contact with Yuriko again. I will do. And there we go. Bam. Ah, and uh, nice little celebratory, uh, loopy, uh, ND thingy. And look at Otome being a cute bean. I love her. Insert dolphin squeak noise here. We did it. We're finally safe. Now we can finally make it back home. I can't wait to swim again. I can't wait to hug you, you cute dolphin. The sea on my planet is so beautiful, and it's full of wonderful fish. There are lots of other dolphins like me, too. Everyone's so nice. Wow, well, look at her cute little eyes. Well, once we land and everything has been sorted out, Durgi, I'd love you to come visit. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. I just know you'll have so much fun. I promise to- ah! I'm sure I will. Oh my god. She makes my heart go- ah! I love her. Cute dolphin girl. Go we- Okay, so yep, yeah, SQ was Buggle. Oh, I thought someone else was Buggle. Oh, yeah, SQ was the one that got found out by the engineer who was Kakrushka all along, ah. Alright, friends, that's a really good place to end it. That was, like, the biggest story revelation we've had so far, I think. So, I hope you all have lovely days, and I will see you all in my next episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to, friends. That would be very, very helpful. And I will see you all in my next video or stream. And by the way, I stream at 8pm on well, whatever days I really want. For the moment, I will definitely not be streaming over Christmas. But, you know, 26th, 27th, I will probably come back. I might even end up streaming New Year's, too, but not Christmas. But anywho, friends, I hope y'all have lovely days, and I will see y'all in my next video or stream. Bye-bye for now.